A violent weekend in Jacksonville. In a 24-hour period, there were six shootings and one stabbing. Three people killed, two others in life-threatening condition. One of the victims, this teenage boy, just days away from turning 19 years old. His mother speaking exclusively with First Coast News. It's just crazy. I can't believe it. I'm still in shock. Her son, Travage Cheek, was shot early yesterday morning at an apartment complex in Atlantic Beach. On your side, Satia Collins has been covering the story since the shooting happened. She sat down with this mom to learn more about the young man and the shooting that took his life. She's joining us live now from the location of the shooting with more. Tia. An entertainer with dreams of becoming a rapper. That is how family describe 18 year old Travaz Cheek. He was found shot here at the Orca Terrace Apartments lying in this parking spot. The last time Lisa Sanders saw her son Travaz Cheek was when he went to a party on Orchid Street to check on his girlfriend. The last thing he says to everyone is I love you. So. I guarantee you, that's, that's the last thing he said to everyone in our house. One young man who has asked to remain anonymous says his sister is the girlfriend. My sister went out with her friend, went to a party. Um, her boyfriend, Trey Vodge, ended up coming up, seeing what was going on. Obviously, an altercation happened. Um, they ended up shooting. This ring camera footage sent to us from a neighbor shows the moment police arrived. This 911 call recorded the frantic moments when a female called for help. We need okay. ambulance ASAP. They're already on their way. No, baby. Please don't leave me. Cheek died just five days before his 19th birthday. Sanders doesn't know who shot her son, but is hopeful that someone at the party will come forward and bring justice to her family. He was a good, good person, positive energy. So that's how I'm really able to be so strong right now because I just hear him telling me, it's okay, Ma, I'm okay. I'm still here with you. You just can't see me. Now, JSO was interviewing witnesses while they were here on scene, but they are asking anyone with any information to reach out to Crime Stoppers. Reporting in Atlantic Beach, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.